Hello and welcome. So in, this is the final task of Microsoft Virtual Internship that is the technical engineer skills and there is only one task in this module so and we are going to co cover it okay. So what is the task? Learn how Microsoft Azure is leading the way in helping organizations meet their business challenges. So what you have to do in this task beside the same as all the tasks, there is a task template and you have to fill that task template and this is your final task and beside it I will show you guys how to download a certificate as well as your batch, okay? So here is a background information about your task, we enjoy, okay, just ignore it. So here is your task, use the link in the resource section to learn all about Azure. Actually this is just a documentation of the Azure. You can see this link, you can visit this, this link for understanding for the Azure platform. This That is basically a cloud platform that provides different different services. As we know for the cloud there are three types of services that is SAAS, A, capital AAS and the PAAS, software as a services application as a services and the platform as a services so there are three services for the cloud platform and we are and we are we and we are going to have and we are going to write this few things about the azure in this task template so let me show you the task template guys so once you click on it once you click on the task template your task template will be downloaded in your system I'm not going to download it because I already downloaded it and completed it but I will show you guys how to complete it okay don't worry so I will show you the task template so this is the task template as you can see this is the Microsoft task template and this is Azure fundamentals and uh, template so what is our task is please read through the scenario then write your answer in the space provided okay so the scenario, is, the scenario is you are at the social event and some find out of your work Microsoft. They tell you that they have heard of some cloud computing solution called Azure but don't know what, is it, what it is about and they ask you to describe it to them what the benefits are. Research Microsoft Azure and provide a response to outlining what you would tell this person about Azure. So basically you have basically you are in a place and there's a person who are asking about the, if you are working in a Microsoft you know about the Azure and tell me about your tell me about the something about Azure. So what is the cloud computing? So you have to just convince you can you you just have to tell the one person about the Azure platform and there's some cloud computing concepts. But in an interesting manner, it's okay. As you can see guidance for the formulating your response, your response need to describe the fundamentals of Azure in a way that is informative and interesting to the listener. You should also concisely online outline the benefits of Azure. Okay. So let me show you guys. So th these are the response that I write here. Outline your response below that is already given in a task template and you have to start from, the th from this one that is second line. Cloud computing is one of the best thing of this time. Let me explain you in a brief. Azure is a cloud computing service provided by Microsoft that provides scalability, reliability to user services and your data. It has a number of reasons and you can save your huge amount of data in anywhere all over the world. I will also have a computing service like a, it will also have the computation services like a different tool, service platform. As we talk about the tools, they are the separate Jupyter Notebook, there are different services are there. And there are different different platform also. If if you, most of you are familiar with the what is Jupyter Notebook because in a different different tasks I use it for the if you talk about the KPMG final task no no sorry in the KPMG final task no yeah data ANZ task I use that one on, and perform on the Azure platform okay okay so the next pair is with the help of the cloud computing you can go beyond your system configuration and what is the meaning of this line guys so what is the meaning of you can go beyond your system configuration suppose when you are when you are working or you are going to program any ai program so it will take the highly computation softwares and the cpus as well as the, some gpus as well that is not possible in the 
normal configuration that I that normal person uses that I'm using just just like I'm using the laptop of the 4 GB RAM but it is not possible for some cases that 4 GB RAM is sufficient for making an AI for AI program that's why we use cloud computing and the cloud platform and you, we can select according to our desire how many CPUs we need how many RAM and ROM how many RAM and GPUs we need for the programming so these are the that that these are the meaning of the you can go beyond your system configuration okay so the next one is in this ai era gpus are playing a vital role because if you want to if you want to not talk you if you want to in the place okay okay this one so if you want to any ai program it use gpus if you want to make sorry if you want to make any ai program then it uses gpus okay Although we can use GPUs in our system, but this will give an extra load to our system and it costs more in the comparison of cloud. Yes, the GPUs cloud are more in the comparison of cloud. Okay, so we can, if we talk about the cost on a cloud, so we pay only what we use and the subscription on, on the yearly basis. And most of the clouds are free. Most of the services of the clouds are free, but for the highly computation, we need to pay. Okay, so this is all sufficient, guys. And the last line is most important thing: you can access your virtual setup anywhere in the world. You just need a browser to access your cloud. Yes, you are listening that right. you just need a browser to access your cloud environment, your all tools, your servers, and so on. So such a cloud is an amazing thing. Okay. So once you write these answers, just hit Ctrl plus S for saving this file and go to the browser again. Sorry, go to the browser again. It's opening and ask it can state okay. And go to the point five and click here to submit your project. Once you click on it and select your file from the destination folder, click on upload word. And desktop and ENZ program module 6 task 1 template just click on it and open it okay so as you can see the file is being uploading and file is uploaded successfully as you can see guys so once your file is uploaded successfully make sure you click on mark as completed once you click on mark as completed so in the front of you, there's a message, there's a pop-up from the Microsoft that congratulations on completing the virtual experience program. And next what? Okay, share on LinkedIn, just ignore it. Okay, you can give the reviews. Yes, okay, it is an um, you can also skip it. If, if there is option, it is an amazing internship. We learn a lot. Let's click on enter or we click on submit. Okay, submit successfully. Uh, and you as you can see in my window section there is a congratulation you have completed a microsoft engineering virtual program and for downloading a certificate you have to just click on this download your certificate just click on this and it will open in a new section and again go to the that tab that tab and view your completion batch so just click on there So in one tab, there is your certificate that is your virtual internship certificate and as you can see there is a Microsoft Insight Sherpa and all the programs are listed there and this is the Microsoft CEP Global Challenge Acquisition and the CEO of Insight Sherpa. Okay. So there is a verification link on the bottom of the certificate and there is also you can see the batch. Okay. So this one is the batch of the for this internship. So you can just share your badge on LinkedIn by click on this and if you want to verify your badge just click on this and you can see issued on this, this, this and this is the verified, okay. 
so i hope guys you like this video and the whole internship as well so it will be it is quite long and i hope you enjoyed and learn something so thank you so much for watching this video guys and thank you so much for connecting with me and if you still not connect with me just subscribe my channel and connect with me okay so thank you so much bye bye